Well, good morning. The city has taken some initial steps on buying the buildings out here on the northwest side. It says that it could house about 550 migrants. The complex itself out here has been vacant for about eight to ten months. The city would buy the former Marine Corps facility from the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District for about one and a half million dollars. It's located on Foster, just west of the river and just east of Kedzie. The facility itself would still need some upgrades, but city staff says it is in pretty good shape and has existing showers and cafeteria. The city will also have to come up with the maintenance cost, which is estimated to be about $43,000 a year. The full city council will need to approve the purchase. If it is approved, migrants could begin moving in about three weeks later. It is set for a vote mid-September. Now, in an effort to help grants get into more permanent housing, the governor and Mayor Johnson sent a letter to the Secretary of Homeland Security asking for approval to allow state-sponsored non-citizens to help fill existing jobs. Now, right now, the city says about 500 people are still living in police stations. Another 300 are at O'Hare. The joint letter says it would help migrants avoid being exploited. The letter also asked for more federal money to help with the migrant crisis in Chicago and the state. So far, the city has spent about $50 million and the state has spent about $250 million. Those numbers coming from city staff. The, they also say the federal government has only offered about $21 million to help. Around 13,000 migrants have been bused here since last year, mostly coming from Texas. More are on their way. Now, the city says that the mayor does have plans to meet with the Secretary of Homeland Security sometime later this week. We are live in North Park. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.